Welcome back to Now or Never. We got Ryan Hollins, Rich Davis, Steve Cavino, and the man, LA Laker, Danny Green. Oh, now. there he is. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Now, uh, before we get to Lake, Lord Laker action, uh -huh. a guy you played with for years is now across town. Can we talk about the fun guy Kawhi thing for a second? Is for he sure. is he a fun <laughs> guy? Is this a is this something you guys all roll your eyes at or chuckle at? No, he's a normal guy, man. I mean, a lot of guys in, on teams have fun, and we enjoy each other's company, just like in other teams. I was in San Antonio, Toronto, on the planes, whether it's telling jokes, watching TV, or gambling or playing cards. So um, he does all the normal things as well. Um, he does make jokes. It is kind of funny when he does his jokes, because obviously sometimes you don't expect it. Um, but you know he's not a low IQ guy. He understands the game and life, so he you know he has some funny stuff to say sometimes. What do you make uh, of how he's portrayed though on social media? You mm -hmm. guys have to see the memes and what people are saying all yeah. the time, right? <laughs> it's so kind of messed up, man. He can't really do it. <laughs> Anytime he does anything, man, it, becomes, right. it goes viral and it becomes a meme. It's like he can't even you know laugh or say <laughs> hey or get the crowd's attention. And then, right. so, but I mean. I'm sure he gets a kick out of everybody around. It's funny to watch. Did you trip out kind of seeing him do the, the deal with Terminator and Schwarzenegger? What if there was? Like he got out of yeah. his shell a little bit. It was a little strange. It was a little different. But, um, you know, it's L.A. He's enjoying it. He's back home. And, um, you know, it was, it was a good commercial. It was a good commercial. Now, um, there are some nicknames on the Lakers. I don't yes. know if you're aware of these. These are new teammates. Okay. But according to basketball reference, I'm going to throw some of these out there. Okay. You let us know if they're trash or fire. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to start with... Rondo, okay. who is known as the yoga instructor. Really? Why? <laughs> they, this comes from Steve Smith of NBA TV because they're saying he would be able to contort his way and, and, and get to the ball and stuff. I thought he did because he did a mean uh, downward dog. That's no, not him. No, no. 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 Trash. Trash. Okay. Trash. 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 How do you feel about your own, the, the Green Ranger? I think it's solid. Yeah, you still if there's an in between. Yeah, right? there's an in between. Yeah. Okay, I'm rocking a lot of purple, I'm just saying. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, got the grapes now. Too, yep. so the green did grapes. that come from? Did you give it to you? Did you name yourself or somebody else named you? It was actually uh, somebody else. Uh, I wasn't a big social media guy when I first uh, got on Instagram. Mm. And uh, actually a former teammate of mine, Dewan Blair, uh, when I was in San Antonio, he was like, you got to get it. You got to get on it. Yeah, and he, he, you know, made the name for me at the time. I think J. Cole and Lil Wayne had a song out called Green Ranger. Facts. Exactly. And uh, that, he, you know, that's what he start. That's what we started with. He helped me start right. my social media. Javel, you got to test this out. I don't know. Okay. Big Daddy Wookie. <laughs> Big Daddy what? <laughs> Big Wookie. Daddy Wookie. <laughs> really? Yeah, I guess uh, he's a Star Wars guy. I don't know. Is he really? Well, I, I, it was his old social media handle. I mean, for him, yeah. it would be for him. It would be fire. Okay. For okay. him, hearing it. But I think if if I had to call him that, yeah, you're not. Yeah, not you can't. Him, I'm not calling him Big Daddy anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Yeah. What about uh, Alex Caruso, the bald bomba? <laughs> oh, yeah, nah, he's a, he's a killer, man. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, it, they I, they talk about his athleticism. He has hair. He has. Some oh, hair. and hair. Okay. Yes. They call him the bald mama. He still has some oh. hair. Hey, Al, you good? You still got some hair, man. Is, is it time to say goodbye though? Whenever he's ready. Okay, when he's ready. Whenever yeah, he's sure. ready. Gonna... Take it home, yeah. <laughs> Whenever he's ready. <laughs> now, what about LeBron? Uh, other than uh, King James, the Little Emperor, a nickname that comes from China? Have you uh, heard that? No, I have not, but it's solid. That's you don't something. call him that, though, right? No. <laughs> no. no. And what about Anthony Davis, Fat Man? Because apparently he was a fat baby. Does anyone call him Fat Man? Nah, I've never heard that, that one. We're, <laughs> we're going trash on that one. That's trash. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, you can use some of these if you want. I'm just saying. I don't think he does. I don't, I don't think it'll go over well. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this. When you when you look back at the highlights, which you say you reluctantly do, mm -hmm. what do you think you look slickest in? What colors? Are you getting used to the, the Lakers colors yet? A little bit. I like the... We haven't worn them yet. I like the black uniforms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think the statement purple ones are pretty solid, too. So, yeah, I'm going to feel for it and getting used to it. Yeah. And, and one last question for you, man. You know, when you're when you're... Looking back at your memories, do you see from the perspective of you you hitting the shot or what you saw on TV in the highlights? Um, it's a random good question. I like that. <laughs> no, because I'm wondering what you know. I yeah. picture you hitting them. What do you picture? It's it's, it's that is a good question. It's strange you ask that. I, I, the highlights look a lot. You don't really know how you look on TV until you see. Yeah. The highlights look very different than how I picture it or how I see it or how I remember it. So it's interesting for me to see how it turned out. It's like, oh, it actually looked. I was actually kind of wide open. I could have probably took my time or, you know, I rushed it or whatever. You oh, may so it see. actually changes your memory a little well, bit. It's or, different. Yeah. Or yeah. simply, you know, when you guys, 
you play, you're running up and down the court. You're not mm. going left to right like we're watching yeah. on TV. So it's right. different, right? But you can just see how things were because you, you can't see everything around you when you're playing. Mm. You see what was open, what was not open, how open the shot was, or how much balance you had, or how off balance you were, or how tough the shot actually was, or how lucky you got when you made the shot. That's what I'm saying. Or how lucky I got, you know, throwing a lob, Dwight and him catching it, and it looked like it was gonna go off the backboard. So little things like that, you you notice when you watch it on film, then you actually in the game heat one of the looked moment. like you were in a workout, bro. That you were shooting so quick, mm -hmm. it was. <laughs> and it, watching the highlights, it looked a lot easier than it did when I was doing <laughs> it. Right, right. <laughs> so it might have looked easy. If you're like, you could do that all the time. No, I can't. It doesn't work like that. You know, it doesn't work like that. Listen, man, I want people to check out your podcast. What is it again? Inside the Green Room. Inside the Green Room. Yeah. Dude, a pleasure. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you man. so much. Thank you, brother. Come, here, come on. Handshake, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. He nailed it. Yeah.